Good morning everyone, uh, welcome to another Get Ski Fit video. Uh, today we are going to be doing some uh, core exercise, we're going to go back to kind of the foundations of exercise to kind of really engage our core. You can do this every single morning, it takes about 10 or 11 minutes, roll out of bed, do it on the floor, don't really need a warm up for it. Um, this is just going to work our core, um, give us some stability. Um, if you've got any injuries, it's always good to kind of, any injuries around kind of muscle, back, uh, anything around that area, it's always good to have a strong core to kind of support you. I have had an injury for a little while now and I do this on a daily routine and it really, really kind of helps me, um, just protects, uh, protects the back especially for me. So um, these are really good foundations of any exercises for when you're obviously progressing. So they're going to be 30 seconds exercise, 15 second rest, things like plank, side plank, um, I'll explain as we go. Um, also, just to let you know, um, I recently I've been drinking a lot of Kangen water. Um, this is kind of electrolyzed water, uh, hydrates you much quicker during exercise. Um, if you're interested to find out some more about it, um, it's really, really helped me during my exercise. Kind of keeps you going for longer, hydrates you so much quicker. Follow uh, me at my underscore Kangan Life. Um, I'll put the link below. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, or you can just DM me some messages. But uh, unbelievable stuff, really impressive. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to do start 30 seconds. Let me just put this on. We're going to start in 20 seconds with uh, plank. You don't need any shoes. You don't really need a top, to be fair. You don't need any socks. Just put your shorts on, and you're good to go. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to start in 20 seconds, and we're just going to start with um, plank. So everyone knows a plank, don't forget to keep your elbows below your shoulders. You don't want to uh, bring your bum up too much or let your hips drop too much. Here we go, four seconds. So when you're doing the plank, don't forget to just really engage, engage the glutes, engage the legs, engage your stomach. You don't want to be hanging like this, and you don't want to be up too high. You just want to kind of feel like everything's quite tense, making sure that your core is engaged. 10 seconds, just hold it. Good job, right, 15 seconds rest. We're just going to go onto a side plank. Again, same principles, don't let your hips drop, don't let them go too high, and you kind of work in, you can do left or right here, and we kind of work in the obliques here, so you'll feel the tension here, and then we'll do the other side afterwards. I like to just kind of raise my hand up, just gives me some nice balance. Again, elbow, shoulder, all in a nice straight line. should feel it nice in your obliques if you're in the right position. Okay, good job. I'm just going to switch to the other side. You can just turn over, obviously. Here we go. You can put one foot on top of the other, or obviously to the side, whatever's beneficial for you. All you really want to do is just kind of feel it in the oblique area. Just touch it, you can feel it engage really a lot here. Just get this done every morning, 10 minutes. Huge benefits for you, no matter how old you are. Okay. So now we're just going to do some hip bridges for 30 seconds on our backs, hands to the side and we're just going to push up. You don't have to feel like you're going fast, but when you get to the top, if you want to engage your glutes, don't overextend. Good. 
Okay, final one. We're just gonna, I did the best way to see this. We're gonna do alternate uh, leg arm. So you wanna lift your leg and your arm up and then change. <sighs> the idea is that you don't really wanna twist. If you can see from the side. It's not about speed. You want to keep your core engaged. You don't want to be twisting. Keep the middle bit straight. <laughs> Works on your balance. Okay? Right, that's round one. We're going to go back to our plank. Hold it, so you have to hold it for the whole 30 seconds. Engage. You do this every morning. You'll feel the benefits really, really quickly. This might give you a little bit of motivation, get the adrenaline pumping, then to go and do some more exercise. <laughs> Maybe not. Hopefully it will. Get a little bit of a sweat on. I mean, you're not gonna burn many calories doing it, but for people that kind of just sit down all day, not engaging their core, this is a great kind of just 10 minutes to spend every morning. You don't need to have rest days for this, you can do it every day. Obviously if you're big into skiing and snowboarding, having a strong core it's obviously fundamental to the sport. You can ask any ski or snowboarder and they'll tell you exactly the same thing. Also, prevent injuries. start to the day to get outside. Here we go, hip bridges now. You can alternate these if these are um, too easy for you. You can put a band around your knees, try and pull your knees out for some banded hip bridges. You can put some weights on the front to make it a little bit more challenging for you. Feel that squeeze at the top in your glutes. Okay, here we go. Alternate hand, sorry, uh, left hand, right leg, and vice versa. Here we go. Don't want to feel that twisting. Okay, that's round two done. Here we go, five seconds, last round. Back into our plank. Hold it, last one. Engage.
I think the world record for a plank is over eight hours. So we can do it for 30 seconds. Okay, now side plank. Get in there, only four more exercises to go. And then you're free to go and have breakfast, lunch, dinner, or get on with, um, let's get on with some more exercise. Here we go. Just always check that you're kind of engaging that oblique. So if you're not, then you're probably too low. Just pick yourself up a little bit. Should be a nice straight line going through your body. Three seconds. Keep going, only three more exercises. We got this. Nice way to, nothing too strenuous this morning. Nice way to kind of calm your mind a little bit. Okay, let's do some hip bridging. Hear yourself breathing. Relax into the movement. That's good. Right, last one. Here we go. There we go guys, all done. There we go, um, really simple, 10 minutes um, exercise, good way to start the day. As I said, go and do some more exercise now, afterwards if it gave you a little bit of motivation, or at least do that. So you can do that every single day. Um, as I said before, uh, Kengan water, uh, amazing stuff. Uh, hydrates you so much quicker than, than any other water, um, especially bottled water with all the chemicals, uh, tap water, etc., etc., with all the chemicals. Seriously, guys, look into this. It's paid uh, dividends for me so much um, when I've been working out at the gym. Um, just makes, um, just takes away that kind of like need for thirst quenching because it hydrates you so much quicker. So have a look at my underscore Kangan Life. Um, and let me know if you've got any questions. Apart from that, have an amazing day. Um, thanks for doing the workout, and I'll start firing up a few more um, uh, workouts uh, on the channel, um, but have a good one. Thank you for following Get Ski Fit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, have a good day. Cheers, guys. Bye.